it's me and today we're gonna be checking out some things that annoy you a lot more than they should you got one slice of pizza okay any slice yeah any slice takes it right out the middle you know the best piece boneless imagine having friends that won't judge you for this <laughs> the whole squad left after this Remember when you would get up, walk to the front of the room to sharpen your pencil and end up with this. <laughs> this disgrace of a sharpening accident. Why does this even happen? And then you gotta like peel the pencil so you can finish filling in your scantron. Ew! What are these business hours? Monday, 1023 to 907. You know, they really exact. I'm gonna get there when I wanna get there, okay? This is hideous. What kind of establishment does this? The forbidden way to cut a pie. Some places this will get you five to ten years. Other places you just get a slap on the wrist. Oh, the worst part is he's cutting it with a pumpkin carver. That's not even a knife. You fool. You are so lucky I can't see your face right now. You know, this pie even went out of their way to mark where the slices should be cut for the perfect pie experience. Um, there's literally a cap where you could twist it open and get the mito. But no, you did this for what? I mean, to be honest, I do this too. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You want to take this to the next level? You walk in on your child at lunch. They open up their juice box like this. From the bottom. Slice it open. Big mouth. They'll either grow up to be a genius or a psychopath. Or both. And you just pop this straw right in. I've never seen somebody violate a juice box like this. Don't you just love when you're opening up a new tub of something and then you peel it off and then you got that thin layer of no. No, we ain't want you to open this. You know, the first layer wasn't protective enough. We gotta have the second layer where you have to take things into your own hands and shove your thumb right in there. The ugliest pistachios in the bag. I hate these ones. They only got a slit. Why you built like that? How am I supposed to crack this open? I broke a nail once struggling with this. The nut is just way too secure. Security level 100. You ain't getting this nut. <laughs> this kid really out of bowling alley. Playing bowling on his tablet. You see the ball was too heavy and I could not swing. And I accidentally hit my mother in the face. So mother said I cannot handle the big balls anymore. So he playing a bowling simulator. We all know a sink like this. That the water is just too close to the back of the sink. When you try to wash your hands, it's like, try not to touch the back of the sink. Or get the Rona. I have a thing where if I touch the back of the sink, I gotta dry and wash my hands all over again. Sheet of toilet paper and a little sliver of the next piece. Why does this always happen to me? Every single time. Without fail. Ugh. Why does this packaging still exist? 2020. What are you trying to accomplish? Oh, this tool is supposed to cut these plastic packages like butter. Yet it is in said package. What you mean stop struggling? You know, this is going to be the last time I struggle with this. It's never going to happen again after I get this open. <gasps> Ew, somebody slapped their door in their doorway in Photoshop and forgot to adjust it. This is somebody's real door. Why are you built like that? Why are you put it in diagonally and it still fit? This don't make no sense. But why couldn't you be like the rest of your neighbors? You know, normal door. And then you got this. The Florida of doors. Yes, the forbidden bite of hubba bubba. I did this at school, so nobody would ask me for some. Like, I would pull out my hubba bubba, and they'd be like, oh, can I get some? And then I'd be like, Ugh. and I'd be like, but, 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 but you see, I took a bite. You still want it? And then my nasty friend was like, yeah, sure, just give me some from the side. I'm like, really? Okay, but this is not how you're supposed to eat it. It's like taking a bite out of a Kit Kat instead of breaking them apart. Just taking a bite like, mmm. Tell me right now, what is the point of having an eraser on the tip of a pencil if it's gonna do this? Why would you erase like this? You literally had one job and you're gonna do it like this. Pencil's really trying to get back at the world. You're an eraser, you're supposed to erase, not a smearer. Your order is ready to collect. We got 138, 140, 141. Wait, but I I'm 139, where is my order? You know, this always give me a mini panic attack. Like, wait, what happened? Did they not put my order in? Maybe they forgot about me. Maybe they had a presenter. Do I have to go up and talk to them? Then I'm gonna go have to call the manager and this a whole unnecessary social interaction that I don't wanna have to deal with. 
You know, the sweet tea was $6. Big sale. Flashy yellow and red sign. On sale. $5.99. Save yourself one penny. Come get your sweet tea. Why do they even bother with this? Is it just supposed to like get your attention? Karen, see a sale sign like sweet tea on sale. Oh, a new pack of pens. Delightful. <sighs> How many layers I gotta rip through to get to you? Again, the good old thumbnail. Down the side. See, that's the fast way to do it, but that's how I get most of my paper cuts. Y'all need to find a better way to package things. Can we just like saran wrap everything? Maybe put it in a paper envelope? Something I could just rip open. Wham, bam, yes, ma'am. I hate unnecessary packaging, ma'am. The toughest decision I had to make today. Choose the perfect number. 10 gallons, but it's gonna cost you $39.99. You know, I can make this $40 even, but it's gonna cost you the perfect gallon. Amazon ship me my hot sauce without any padding. Oh no! I shook it up a little too hard. Every time, every single time without fail that I order a jar of some sort online, it always comes leaking. No matter how much padding or packaging, like, I don't know how you be abusing these packages, but please stop. Be gentle with the sauce. In my house, all of these lights are off. Excuse me, sir, sir, sir. You, yeah, what are you doing? You're off. That means down. He's literally so rude. Y'all ever dig through the bottom of your freezer? Oh, a popsicle from last summer. You open it. What is this? Ain't even a popsicle. It's a stick and pop. Make it make sense. Throw the whole thing away. Let me some frostbite flavored cherry. Trash. Didn't you just love when all the edges of the floor don't match up? You know, it started out straight. How did it end up like this? And slowly it's just like trailing off. How does this make sense? How does it gradually get worse? My mental health the first few days of quarantine. And now. Isn't it just dandy when the donut shop packages your donut in a bag and the frosting leaves the donut's body? Okay, you know what I do? I just dip it in. Or, you know, I take a bite of naked donut and then a fingerful of frosting. You know, either way, we get in a bite of both. Not too bothersome to me. You pop the can opener a little too hard. The whole tab pulls off. Now what? You use a can opener. Like for tuna, but for Coca-Cola. Easy peasy. Wait, can you actually do that? I'm sure. A can's a can and a can opener can. Hey, we got a wrap special. Buy two, get the third and one free. The third and one. Now, I feel like some people legitimately don't know. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Everything is an end because it's the end of your brain power. Second, third, fourth, end, logic end. I cannot express how badly I want to turn this sewer hole. I completely forgot what these are called. But I want to tilt it. Come on, a couple degrees. That's all you need to be perfect. Why are you making this so difficult? So my roommate needed a blank trophy and then ordered one. And in the box where it says engraving, I do not want engraving. Just leave the metal plate blank. No engraving. And I just popped it on the trophy. Just supposed to leave it blank. Not say, leave it blank. Congratulations, CEO of leaving it blank. When you only buy one item from CVS, receipt be like, 100 pound dog for scale. One item, just one item. At least in the winter, you can wrap it around your neck, wear it as a scarf, keep you warm. This is what it's like having the laziest sister in the world. Hey, you know, at least she popped on a fresh roll in the vicinity of the holder. You know, that's a lot more than I'm used to. But like, you couldn't have taken 0.2 seconds to pop it out, put it in. Like, you have a top tier toilet paper holder. They're so easy. You just pull it off, pull it on. These people really be next level. It's me. And today we're checking out some people who have way too much free time. Employees at Walmart got real bored. Turned the display fans on. Put beach balls on top of them. So it's like they're hovering. Whoever did this, y'all getting a raise. That's so cool. They were at the airport and just using the smile filter on random people. So whenever they look into it, <laughs> yeah. everybody just went to like they all look so angry before. That girl was minding her own business. It works so good. This is where technology has taken us. I want to text my friends, but I have nothing to say and I don't want to waste their time and send them this emoji story text. Like we got clouds, we got a whole plot. We got a city, a train, and an Amber Alert with five cops going after the blue Kia Soul. Oh, what is that biker doing? He finna die. Ah, yes, I see you have nothing to do. Excuse me, that's something. And that is quite impressive. 
This is why it takes girls so long to shower. Y'all think she's just washing her hair? Nah, she gotta do the whole alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you wash your hair with me? This dude on TikTok really live streaming. Him counting sugar. Have you ever seen somebody count sugar? Like, how bored you gotta be? Zero responsibilities. And live streaming it. There's actually people watching. Like, whoa, I can't wait till he hits 69. So this dude's girlfriend was asleep. Hmm, let's see what we can get away with putting on her head. A bottle. Still asleep. Dump out the entire recycling bin. And a pair of shoes. Asleep. How about this backpack? No, no, no. Two bags, actually. Two bags. Plus all the trash. A lamp. The laundry basket. Some clothes. And it keeps going. A dinner plate. Another blanket. And another duffel bag on top of all that. Are you sure she's not dead? Like she ain't waking up after that? Ah, uh, yes. Mmm, comfy sleep. That's the best way to blanket I've ever seen. If and when she wakes up, you're probably gonna be single. My wife got a delivery from Chanel. But all I see is... Run on Weasley! How dare you steal that car? I am absolutely disgusted! Tell me you're a Harry Potter fan without telling me you're a Harry Potter fan. Okay, but do don't you dare disobey me, Caroline! Next. Thank you. Oh my god, what is that? Abraham Lincoln, that you? That you walking your dog? Are you always that dog, Thomas Jefferson? <laughs> How do they make a dog out of a dollar? Also, Lincoln, what's with that hat? Where you going with all that drip? I really hope we ain't going to the theater again. Bored at work, so I made Bowser with post-its. Hey, yo, this is post-its? Whoa, 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 that's very impressive. I wouldn't even ask you to take that down. How many colors of post-its y'all got? Enough to draw and shade him. So how big is that window? Your boss walks in. What have you been doing all day? I make Bowser. <laughs> hey, we ain't got no customers. What do you want me to do? I don't know, set up the plates or something. And I don't know how they did this. I don't know if they're paper plates, but then they stack them on each other, and it kind of looks like a tornado. I got some paper plates, but I ain't got free time. I want to try this so bad. Like, it looks so cool. I hope y'all's food is good as your plate skills. Getting to know somebody versus when you actually know them. This screams, I'm just gonna eat one more bite. Just one more bite. I want to make his face, okay? This guy's gotta grow up to be an architect or something. You see all of these? These are all pencils. And look at what they're standing on. They balance this whole entire stack of pencils on four pencils vertically. That's a flex, all right. I could literally exhale and the whole thing would knock down. I can't believe he made it this far. Y'all ever sit on the toilet for so long that you decide to make the Wendy's girl out of the toilet paper? They had to have done this at the McDonald's. Like braided the toilet paper. I didn't even know that was possible. Made a face out of it. Y'all did this with your fingernail? Desperately grasping the toilet paper roll as you shart your heart out? Be honest, are you using the braid or the other roll? I love these blankets. Not only because they're soft, but because you could draw in it. They drew Yoda. It ain't even the baby one. Boy, get out of here with that crusty mug. They found some dead houseflies, put them on a sheet of paper, drew little bodies, and made them do the YMCA. A game of soccer? You got it. These flies, they dead. They long dead. They been dead. They crusty and shriveled up. They put this dude in a truck, dumping some rocks or something. I don't even know what to say. Somebody did that. At this school, these two teachers like to pull pranks on each other. And apparently they got plenty of free time coming into school at 5 in the morning to wrap the entire classroom in yarn. Teachers would do this and then point to this and be like, how many degrees in this angle? If you like the class, you cleaning this up. We got the world made out of Ruffles chips. Y'all really did that. Okay, you know what? The only way I would be impressed is if you got the sour cream and onion dip, smeared it all over where the oceans are supposed to be, or even just Antarctica. Antarctica can be the sour cream and onion dip. I would be okay with that. No one's in the ball pit today. No children. You know what time it is. Ball pit organization. They organize the ball pit by color. Same kind of vibe as that one guy counting the grains of sugar. But these are colored balls. It's not the same. Y'all ever open up a... Oreo? Like, all it needs is a little shaping. To the salon! Carve Abraham Lincoln out of the cream. Is that him? Old boy Lincoln? Just on the cream. I don't know how y'all managed to do that, but some of y'all literally piss creativity. Someone got their hands on their very first thing of whiteout. First thing they did, white out a pencil. And a banana! They used whiteout for the entire banana. It's for mistakes on your paper. But no, they whited out an entire banana. They both used to be yellow. That's illegal. And unnatural! It's gonna taste like a mistake. 
Uh, whoever working at this grocery store, y'all in the wrong line of work. You can make so much money organizing things, and yet they out here at the Whole Foods doing it for free. Look how organized the produce section is. Y'all made a Z out of the celery. Insane. If I worked here, nobody would be touching my work. I wouldn't even want to shop there. I'd be too afraid of messing it up. Like, it's so perfect. Someone had absolutely nothing to do all day. Or maybe they freed their busy schedule to literally pick every single seed out of a strawberry. Is naked now. It's got nothing protecting it. This is actually strangely very satisfying. Imagine biting into a strawberry and there's no, there's no seed. It's just soft and nothing gets stuck in your teeth. The perfect berry. Also, I never realized how many seeds they have. I could feed a bird with that pile right there. It has been a real slow day at work today and they made a scorpion out of paper clips. He looks menacing. He's actually quite deadly. He even got the fangs. He's just like pick him up and just skirt. Bite somebody's fingernail off. Dangerous. Another paperclip monster. Except this one's very metal. He's just a silly goofy guy. Go to the Slipknot concert. Paul was bored at work. So he made the earth out of rubber bands. And then the moon out of rubber bands. Dang, that's small compared to the earth. And Paul's productivity at work today, as you can see, non-existent. Someone's getting fired. They were so bored at school. They carved their pencil into a spiral. Whoever did this, fresh out of prison. Looks like y'all had some experience carving things out of wood. And the way they just did a spiral through the pencil, with it still being functional? You know, that's pretty impressive. Skill that'll come in handy. Looking like a fusilli. This manager, sick and tired of dealing with his employees. So he was like, you know what, I'ma take a day off. Finds a dead cockroach. This here is Milton. Y'all got any complaints? You go to Milton. Uh, he's got a yellow tie and a MacBook. Very legit. Y'all got anything to say? Go complain to him. They work at a dog grooming salon. And she shaved the dog. I was like, oh man, I miss that dog. And took the hair that she shaved off the dog and made it into the dog. Hey, yo, that's kind of creepy. Imagine someone cutting your hair and then making a self portrait out of the hair they cut off. Psychopath behavior. It ain't weird with the dog. If you dip cotton balls into water, they'll stick to anything on a cold night. You don't say. So they cotton balled this entire car. I didn't know they stick to things when they get cold. What? Now you have a soft plush car. If you crash into anything, it'll probably squeak. When your mom takes you to the bookstores and you can't actually read any of the books. Find book covers and just see where it matches. It's you, you're the one on the cover. Oh, that last guy though. That face like matches perfectly. You cannot tell me that's not his face on that book. Me, when I unplug everything from my setup, made a throne of wires. You can sit on it. It's even got a little height to it. King of chords. This dude took hundreds, if not thousands of dice. Arranged them into this board. So I hope you're gluing them down. Oh my goodness, he's actually making a picture of Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, is that you? That's her. It like blows my mind how people do this. Like my brain just can't even process this. My boss said I was acting childish. No, 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 no. I'm gonna show you childish. Takes boxes from the office and literally builds a castle with a detachable door to his cubicle. All right, you know what? That's pretty genius. Throw some pillow cushions in there, put up a no girls allowed sign, and you're all set. Drinks from sippy cup inside the castle. Call me childish one more time, Greg. All math teachers on Pi Day be like, Pi, <laughs> get it, Pi, Pi, 3.1459265. Three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two. They got all the digits, all of them. Goes all around the cake. Imagine the baker who had to make this. Math teacher's favorite holiday. They'd be putting Pie Day above Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And remember, with a little rust ease and an insane amount of luck, you too can look like me. Ka chow. Whoa! Hey yo, you made that out of yarn? Like knitted that? Cause that's sick. It came out really nice. ka chow. <gasps> Whoa, this is art. This is all chopped up wood. And they decided to make like a mosaic art out of it. That's actually incredible. This is all firewood stacked up on each other. I wouldn't even use any of this. Ain't nobody burning the firewood stash. This artist used 50,000 coins to build a model of a city. I'm sorry, what? My dude turned his life savings into coins, cashed them out, and was just like, you know what, I'ma build a city. And like, look at it from the top. I'm just so confused. I can't even imagine how long this would've taken. I would've stacked like 20 quarters on top of each other. See how long I can get the stack. Another person braided toilet paper even longer this time. How long is y'all's dumps to be able to literally braid a ponytail for the toilet paper? I wonder if this banana vader was carved with a tool or teeth. Also, no, you are not my father. You are banana. But anyways, that's 
that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button on the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.